guys welcome back to my channel my name is charlene for those of you who are new and for those of you who've been with me for a while my loyal subscribers thank you as always for coming back Today we are doing another foundation test. Um, I'm kind of late to the party on this one. This is the Best Skin Ever Foundation by Sephora. Now in the package, it looks super dark. I will be honest, I think this is gonna be like my last complexion product I'm going to purchase for a while because I have quite a bit that I tried recently and I, I, just, I just don't think I need any more. My center of the day is this beauty right here that I got recently. I've been loving it so much. This is La Vie Belle Soleil Cristal. Truly loving this and it's gonna be even more amazing in the next coming months. Anyway, these days the foundations all claim similar benefits. This one promises a skin-like finish. It also is a medium coverage. It is infused with skincare benefits like hyaluronic acid, red algae extract. This claims to hydrate the skin for up to 12 hours. Big, big claims. Um, I am excited to see what it looks like on the skin. When I got the Huda Beauty um, foundation stick, I got this one and I wanted to try it for you guys as well. I got the shade 53.5N, if you can see that. And let's just open her up and see if, if it works. I do like the frosted bottle. You get less than one fluid ounce so so you get 0 0.8 fluid ounce in this less than one what's up with these companies giving people less than one ounce like that always was the standard now you get less but um this has a pump which is amazing for a 20 dollars foundation makes your application less messy um i like that so i am going to apply my mattifying and pore reducing primer this is the prime plus by revlon because of my oily skin i always always have to go in for primer just to keep things nice and together. I did hydrate with my Dior um, Capture Total, which I've been really loving. Today my makeup is gonna be super simple just because like I'm not gonna do much. I will wear it for a few hours and check back in with you guys. So I will go in with my Morphe M439 brush. This is one of my favorite brushes to apply foundation. She's taken the back seat since I discovered the um, other Morphe brush. Um, the one that I've been using recently, which I cannot find. And this is coming up a little dark, honestly. Let's swatch. Okay. The color on the skin is not bad. Look at that. I can just tell she's going to really apply well. Okay. Oh, nice. This doesn't claim to be a luminous foundation, but it feels really nice going on. Ooh. This is a much better shade than the the one I tried from Huda. Because that one I feel like it was a little olive, but this is very nice. Look at that. It's really melting into my skin. Like literally melting. Look at how dark it looks. But on my skin, I have natural light coming in right now and it looks really good. Oh, wow. Look at that. How it comes off is not how it looks. This is nice. Very nice. I'm not mad at this. It applies so nice and smooth. Like, wow. Don't ignore the neck, ladies. Like, you do not want lines of demarcation showing up on you like crazy. This almost feels like, almost has like a wet feel, y'all. I'm not gonna apply anymore. It just looks great. Like, <laughs> makeup tutorial over. It looks great. I am so late to this party. Wow. I love that. My initial thoughts are, this looks amazing on my skin. Come up close. And it doesn't feel heavy at all. Like it actually feels light and almost wet. The shade is perfect. Love that. Okay, so this is it for the foundation base without anything else. I already think that it looks amazing. Like I said, I'm going to finish off my face. 
I'll be right back. And I'm back and this is what the makeup is looking like. I kept it very simple because like I said, I'm just gonna be out and about just running a few errands. I will do at least a five hour test thereabout. I will come back in and let you guys know my final thoughts. But for now, I can say that my skin feels very hydrated. I don't feel like it's cakey or heavy. Very lightweight but mostly hydrated. And I think that's the whole point behind this makeup. Now, like I said, I loved applying it. It felt great on my skin. The shade is 53.5N for neutral, and this is the finish we have. So, so far it is fantastic. It feels amazing and I love it. Guys, so it's been about three hours since I put on the foundation. This is my first check-in. I will do a second one and then we will just wrap this up. So. Three hours later, um, as you can tell, my oils are definitely peeking through. If I come really close, you can almost see the separation between my, uh, my concealer and the foundation. But this is the area I'm typically more oily anyway. But overall, it looks good. On the second check-in, I will go ahead and blot it to see like if we can refresh the foundation but my oily skin is like having a moment right now the finish on the foundation even three hours later is still very nice and this i'm currently using natural light and this is what we're looking like so i feel like it's a pretty good foundation under normal circumstances i would blot but because i'm doing the wear test i just refuse to blot if you guys are oily as i am you can probably relate this is normal for basically any type of foundation so i will be back in about three more hours and we will wrap up the video and give you my final thoughts okay so i am back to wrap this up so it's about six hours since i've been wearing this um i am going to blot with you guys now because i haven't done it i've used the back of my hand a little bit but i've not really blotted and let us see if we can refresh the makeup a little bit six hours later with me blotting just this one time and i feel like it looks pretty good on the skin itself it has not separated too much even in person it looks better to be honest with you all i feel like it looks better in person <laughs> this is me up close and um i think it's it's holding up pretty well for a very lightweight foundation which is also hydrating i feel like it is holding up spectacularly so overall i think this is a fantastic foundation because of the hydrating properties in this i feel like it will be great during the summer um it does not look cakey whatsoever your skin still feels like skin looks like skin and i feel like that's really good i just look bronzed and glowy so yeah my natural oils are like hi not bad not bad at all so would i recommend this yes the price point is perfect um, the longevity on that is really good for a lightweight hydrating foundation. This is it for the video. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me during these check-ins. I really appreciate it. Sound off below. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.